Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here And in today's video I've got four autographs through the mail TTMs and I am also going to open up another pack of Bowman 2023. As always, we will start with some TTMs. The first one comes to us from Kansas City, Kansas. We have got Mr. Ken Berry. He signed three of three in eight days. He had a career batting average of 255 with 58 home runs, 343 RBIs. He played 14 years. He appeared in 1,384 games. He played from 62 to 75. And he played with the White Sox, Angels, Brewers, and Indians. He was an all-star in 1967. He is a two-time gold glover. Um, his best year was in 1970 when he hit seven home runs, knocked in 50, batted 276, and he also won uh, one of his two gold gloves that year. And something I did not know, he played um, in the movie uh, Eight Men Out. He was the heckler. He was the heckler in the movie. And he also sent this with his phone number, come back. And it says here on the note, uh, Scott, FYI, just finished a baseball novel comeback. Currently we have sold over 1,400 copies. The reviews from the guys and gals who have read it have been excellent. If you decide to purchase a copy, I'll enclose, I'll enclose a signed copy of a Sports Illustrated cover from 1967 with Mantle and I involved in an action shot at first base. Feel free to call me using the number on the card I sent you or pass the card on to a friend who might be interested. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks, Ken Berry. I am definitely interested and would like to order that book. And there's his phone number. All right, our next return is from Northern Virginia. And we have got Bob Lacey. He signed three of three in eight days. He had a career record of 20 and 29 with a 3.67 ERA. He played seven years, appeared in 284 games. He played from 77 to 84, and he played with Oakland, Cleveland, Texas, California, and San Francisco. Um, in 1978, he went 8 and 9 with a 3.01 ERA. Also that year, he inherited a major league record 104 runners. So he came into the game and inherited 104 runners that season. The following season, he fell out of favor with the manager, Billy Martin. And he, Billy Martin actually told, or the legend has it, is that Billy Martin barred his teammates from playing catch with him during spring training. And during the season, he was barely used, but it also came, also, that was because during the season, the Oakland pitchers threw 94 complete games that season. 94. And on the next to last game of the season, Billy Martin allowed Bob Lacey to start, and he threw a complete game. <laughs> so, that's Bob Lacey. That's, I thought that was a pretty interesting story about him and old Billy Martin.
our next return is from Tampa, Florida. And we have got Steve Foucault. He signed three of three in nine days. He had a career record of 35 and 36 with a 3.21 ERA. He also had 52 saves. He played six years, appeared in 277 games. He played from 73 to 78. And he played with Texas, Detroit, and Kansas City. Um, his best year was in 1977 when he went 7-7 seven and seven with a 3.15 ERA. And he also had a career best 13 saves that season. All right, before we get to our last return, we're going to go ahead and open up this our first pack in blaster number three. And let's see if we got something good in here. We have got Levon Soto, Brett Beatty, John Carlos Stanton, uh, Leovar Peguero, Yvonne Herrera. We got Corey Seager. We have a rookie of the year favorite, Vaughn Grisham. We have got a Junior Garcia, Abel Bastidas, Lionel James. We have got Lazandro Rodriguez, and we have got a Jace Avina. So tons and tons of rookies, but none that I've really heard of. All right, our last return is from Dallas, Texas. We have got a football return. We have got Raib Ishmael, the Rocket. He signed 4 of 4 in 17 days. <clears throat> he graduated from Notre Dame in 1990. In 1991 and 92, he went to the CFL and played for the Toronto Argonauts. And then in 93 to 95, he played with the Oakland Raiders. 96 to 98, he played with the Carolina Panthers. And then he played with the Cowboys in 99 and 02. During his career, he had 363 receptions, 5,295 yards. He had 30 touchdowns. Um, 28 of them were receiving. In 98 and 99, he had 1,000 yard reception seasons. And he is in the top 75 college players of all time. We have got Fast Lane, Raib Ishmael. And I really like that car. I think that car looks pretty sweet. The Rocket. I think everybody was a fan of The Rocket when he was playing at Notre Dame in uh, college football. He was. He was fun to watch, for sure. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.